Okay, this is a pretty cool technique. Um, we are going to do these cool reverse ombres. Um, they look complicated, but they seriously are not. Wait until you see this. All right, so <clears throat> we start with one coat that has been cured of one of the colors. It doesn't really matter which color you start with. Um, I am using shellac asphalt and shellac uh, lady lily and oops, this one's on this side, silver chrome. Okay, so we have got on this one we are going to keep it. Um, this one we are going to do. Man, I I'm confused now. Let's see, which one was I planning on doing? Okay, so this one we're going to do on this one, and this one we're going to do on this one. All right, so I'm going to keep them by them so I don't get confused. Okay, so we've done one coat already of, the, of this color. So we're going to go back with the asphalt first because remember in my other ombre video, I talk about how I like to do the darker color first and then go over it with the lighter color. So this is the second color, or the second coat. And we're not doing a thick coat, but we're also not doing a really light coat. Okay, so we're just doing half the nail. Then we're coming in with this other color. I chose the silver chrome. Give it a different look than the other one. Okay, so then we come in with the silver on this side and we're just going to blend now it'll start blending when you go over it a couple times so just keep going over it and it will start the blend process with the blue I'm sorry the asphalt if it doesn't work right away and you don't like the results you can go over the darker color and then use the darker color for the blending but I think we're gonna achieve it just fine if we keep going over it okay getting a little bit of blending action there I have to go a little bit further to get some more now we're going to push a little bit harder because we're not seeing the effects yet. Okay, I'm seeing it come through now. Okay, so see that blend? It's a little bit stark there. And sometimes if you'd like... <coughs> Excuse me. You can take another brush and help blend those two colors together. And you want to always finish with a solid stroke because you don't want that to be noticeable. So just play with it until you like it. So there's my blending. So silver and then into the asphalt. Then you're going to cure it. Um, I would do a full cure because uh, you're going to go back and do something over the top of it. So now with this white one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the second coat of white. All right. And we're going to go on one side of it. Okay, just one side, and then we're going to use the silver again, I'm in a silver mode. Okay, now we're going to go in with the silver, oh, I'm kind of running low on that. So the thicker coats I'm going to go on the outside first and then I'm going to come in as the brush gets less and less polish. Sometimes it helps not to be too saturated with the color to blend. 
Okay, now I'm overlapping the white that was there. And it's just going to blend the two colors. The more you wipe it, the more it blends. You just never want that really stark line. So make sure you're keeping it from making a stark line. Okay, kind of liking that. Okay, make sure you wipe that brush again before you put it in the bottle. And there's our transition from the white into the silver. I don't really like that stroke right there. Can you see that line right there? Especially because it's chrome. <laughs> of course, I do this demonstration with chrome, the most finicky polish ever. So I'm just going to give it a nice, straight, beautiful line before I finish. Okay. All right, so there's the white and the chrome. Put that in there and then we'll go back to this one. Okay, so we've got the gray asphalt into the silver. Now, we're gonna take the asphalt and what we're trying to achieve is this. So mind you, we're gonna go back and we're going to go over the chrome. And then we're going to cover it like this. Not really thick, but enough to cover. You can do it a second layer if you need to. Okay. Then we're going to take the chrome again. And we're going to do the other side. It's not critical for you to be really um, careful right now because you're going to do that smile line brush to it. Okay, so now where this line is and where this line is, we're going to start blending again so that we've got that nice, cool blending look again. So just keep going over it until it blends it really good. Okay. So there's that pretty transient or transition again. All right, so before we cure it, we're gonna take our chisel uh, angle brush and we're going to wipe just like we do with our French manis. We're going to wipe from one side to the next side. Um, just clean that line up really nice, okay? So there we go. Look at how cool that turned out. I like those colors. So then it transitions into the dark and transitions into the dark on that side. Okay, so then there's that one. Now we're gonna go to this one again. Okay, you think this is tricky, but look how cool this is. Okay, so same thing that we did on the other finger, except now we're gonna do the entire finger again on both sides. So this time I'm gonna show you what happens when I do the silver first. So we're gonna overlap where that line is. And it's okay to overlap it. This chrome look really sharp and nice. Okay. Now we're going to go over the other side with the white. Okay. 
Now if you don't like how this is blending, you can go back with the chrome, blend it a little bit more. I think I'm going to do that just so that it kind of has more of a blending look to it. Okay, now it's pulling that color over into that. Just doing it a couple more times. Then, okay. there's a little bubble there, so I thought I'd take care of that. Okay, so we have that transition. Now before we cure it, just like the other one, make sure your brush is dry or clean from that darker color. Now you can see there's a circle and a line and then a skinnier line. So we're gonna start with the circle up on top. We're just gonna come in with a clean brush and swipe it. Look how cool that is. Come in from this side and pull across. Oh, that was a little squiggly, huh? <laughs> okay, so you can see how that's looking. And then we're gonna do a line across here. Now, if you want these lines to be more precise, you can. I kind of like how that digged out, but I'm just gonna make it nice and sharp. Whoops, there's the instance of not wiping your brush in between strokes. Okay. All right, so I'm just like crisp. I'm making these lines a little bit more crisp. All right, so there you have it. Look how cool that is. Isn't that fun? And it was simple. It was just a couple of coats and making it work. All right, so back to this guy. Here we go, there's that one and this one. So we've got the pretty silver chrome into the asphalt. And this is my favorite part because the top coat just blends it all and makes it look so pretty. Gosh, I really like these two together, asphalt and cityscape. Silver chrome, sorry, silver chrome and asphalt. Wow, I just might have to do that sometime. It looks so pretty. So sleek. Background noise is the Adam Project. Have you guys seen that? It's a good movie. All right. So there you have it. There you have my two versions of the same design. Wow, that's just really not working with me, huh? Let's see if we zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, I better cure that one before I touch it. All right, we're gonna cure it. Okay, and this one, same thing. Top coat just smooths it all and makes it look wonderful. So we're gonna give it a top coat. Okay, and that just smoothed it to make it look a little bit less, um, you know, less. Okay, so we've got our two samples that we just created. And I encourage you to at least try one of these, see how it goes for you. Choose whatever colors you would like. Uh, see if you can play around with other pretty colors that go with each other. Um, maybe try a chrome and a regular um, polish. I've, I'm just really excited to see what you guys do.